Right now, we at the motherfucking uh, Clearport. About to go meet Moneybag Yo. You know, real boss. Brought the motherfucking jet for us, man. You hear me? Brought the jet for us, nigga. We, see, see, now we starting to do a di me and I work for game episodes where we seeing who really trapping and who really capping. Who really doing it out here? And who fronting for the grant? Yes, sir. You see money bag, yo? You see yo? You see yo? Look, nigga. Look at yo, nigga. It's going down, baby. Million dollars worth of game. Money bag, yo. I mean, it's going down. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's big money bag, nigga. Big money, baby. Not the little one, nigga. Hey, 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 what's up, nigga? Bread gang, baby. Hey, nice hey. Man, that's always. big money bag, nigga. Listen, that's the little one, on. nigga. Listen, baby. Yeah. It's going down. This is a billion dollars worth of game. Billion money up. bag, yo. Bread gang is going down. You know, you know what's so, you know what's so interesting. He out here taking people out the trenches now. Yes. You know, he got in the game. He's still heating up. He said, let, let me go grab some other young cats. Put it down. I'm going to sock it to their pocket like a rocket. Yeah. I'm going to change their life. Uh -huh. I'm going to change their location. Uh -huh. And now we on the jet ready to go all up. New album coming out yeah. tomorrow. Go get the new album. It's coming out tomorrow. Yes. It's going down. We're not playing no games. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. It's going down, baby. Big money bag, nigga. Oh, not the little one, nigga. Listen, listen, listen. The big one, nigga. And it's the jet with the big seats right here. You got the big seats. I got my own section. I go to sleep and everything in this joint. Yeah, I mean, and, and this motherfucker hold about 25 niggas, that's all I'm saying. There's a lot. I this ain't a baby of, jet. I see a lot of niggas, a lot of you niggas be on them two seaters. Oh, and they got the real nah. snacks. You, you bitch, you the security guard. Nah, nah, nah. I'm just saying. <laughs> this, the, yeah. They got them good snacks up in here, too. Look, yeah, at you man. always see, I told you about that shit, man. I'm just saying they have snacks You're always right coming to people's spaces eating. They ain't worried about this shit. They got the Welcome snacks for Welcome yourself to the snacks and shit, man. Well, man. I told me. you about that shit, man. I'm doing me. Mind your business, nigga. Fuck wrong with it's you. It's going down. Wow. <laughs> no, no. Before this interview is over, because I ain't tell people I make beats, I'm getting my bread gang chain. What the fuck? Oh, well, I'm getting a deal. Gotta he gonna give deal. me a deal, yeah. Man, he don't want them old school prison ass beats, man. I do beats, I do security, I DJ, uh, I'm a hype man, uh, I carry bags. I ain't nothing wrong with carrying a bag as long as I get on the jet. Yeah. I'm at the same place they at. Yeah. <laughs> you dudes better turn your game up. So when I come through with my bread game chain or I'm carrying a bag, I'm cool with it. I'm at the same hotel. I'm on the same jet. Right. I'm hollering at the same chicks. Right. They don't know what I'm doing. They just know all I gotta do is play important. I'm gonna get the same girl. I'm saying, what you trying to do? You coming up with us or not? She's like, all right, I'm going with you. So I can catch the stragglers. I'm cool with it. You cool with all it? All they do is better get the game when y'all gonna get left behind at home because you're too cool. You're saying to yourself, man, I ain't carrying no bag. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold, I ain't gonna hold the chains. You holding the money. And it was, come on, baby. You're not the star, baby. You just listen, what you is, you assistant to the star. So I ain't got no problem. I'm gonna play my role. DJ one night, security right. one night. Yeah. So you know, like, I, like him, he assistant to the star. You ain't no fucking star. I'm you a star, nut. nigga. Nah, they using nut. You, you my, my assistant. motherfucking assistant. Go get listen, me some man, chips, nigga. Before this, oh, I'm get me my some chain. chips. I'm getting nigga. my chain. Uh, listen, I'm all P, AP, all purpose. DJ, security, assistant, bread gang, baby. It's going down, baby. You see what's going on? Stop playing games. Tap into this shit. A billion dollars worth of game. I'm on the jet right now. They don't know if it's my jet or his, if it's his jet. If I'm an assistant, man, they know who jet it is. No, I'm gonna nigga. take the pictures by myself. They know I ain't gonna who post jet it. it is. I ain't no, gonna show they, him in the pictures. Fuck you talking about? You ain't fooling nobody. They like he with money bag. He already on the jet. If you out there like, yeah, you right. They yeah. know who jet it is. No, nigga. I'm gonna save the pictures for when he ain't posting, so I can save him a month later. Throw him up. Yeah, I'm just jet life. You know what I mean? So they ain't gonna know. Niggas be capping all the time. All. You know I mean, that's the whole I tell joke. you who ain't capping. He not. <laughs> Big money bag, nigga. Not the all little right. one, nigga. It's going the fuck down, man. <laughs> Act Amen. like you fucking know. Listen, man, million dollars worth of game, man. Listen, Money Bag Yo, the new album coming out tomorrow, Hard to Love. Yes. We got to figure out why he hard to love. But also, man, we got Fats right here, Young Cap having it, Bread Gang. I'm talking about, listen, man, Loaf Boys, they not playing no games. Yes. You see his shit, his shit, is, like, he not playing no games. You saw it on Instagram. Money bag socked into his pocket like a rocket. 
got him on a whole nother level, man. CMG, this shit, there's just a lot of shit going on out here. Why you hard to love? What the fuck been going on, man? Uh, you know, in the past two years, you know what I'm saying, not dropping no music and shit. Um, nigga really been going through real life, dealing with real life situations. You know what I'm saying? I lost some people that, that were real important to me in this whole situation. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that all that being done and, and done to me, you know what I'm saying, happening in my life, that's I'm hard to love for that. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to trust people, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people ain't got good intentions, great intentions. So, you know what I'm saying? So I just feel like, shit, I'm hard to love all the way around. Like, you know, being in the industry now, you, you're a seasoned vet now. Well, you know, how do you move now? I know you probably move different because, you know, I ain't just talking about the security. I'm talking about some dealing with people in the industry, figuring it out. You know, it's a business, turn into a businessman, businessman, the bullshit, the fake shit. Yeah. How do you process all that? How do you deal with it? I mean, it took me a minute because at one minute, like at one point in time, I couldn't even leave Memphis. Like not saying I couldn't leave Memphis, but I ain't want to leave Memphis. I was stuck. My mind was just stuck there. Like I was bigger than I was. I was, I was on this. I was this superstar. But I'm in a small town, you know what I'm saying? Still running around and still pulling up the traps. Got four, five number ones on the radio. Still just, just dumb shit, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So I, it just clicked to me, you know what I'm saying? Just a lot of situations I don't want to get too deep on having in the nigga life. Like I had to straighten up. Like it was a point in time, bro. Like got it. Like bro, what is you doing here? What what's what what is it about the city you can't leave alone? Like this episode of Me and Oz Worth a Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. New Amsterdam. They got a little something new today. New Amsterdam Vodka is born from uncompromising passion for great vodka. This heartfelt commitment to excellence has enabled them to produce America's vodka from a superb taste and an unparalleled smoothness. Their liquid is rated 93, five times distilled and three times filtered. So they really put this through a process so that this vodka can taste extremely well. Wow. When it taps your tongue. I just want to tell you that New Amsterdam Vodka is mostly inspired by those who stay true to themselves. True. Like me and Wallow. Yes, know? sir. Nothing is more true to themselves like me and Oliver for game, huh? Mm-hmm. Always true. Right, because we don't care about what anybody thinks. But back to New Amsterdam Vodka for pursuing your dreams and celebrating with friends and having an epic night out. This is why New Amsterdam Vodka is what? The official vodka of Barstool Sports. Sports. A hardworking spirit flows through everyone. Everything New Amsterdam Vodka does, from the water they use to the grains they select. Everything. Everything. Every step to distilling the process. Find your wins with New Amsterdam Vodka. When you're out about at your well, local liquor store, on the floor. We make sure you get yourself. What is you still doing? Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So I just had to figure it out and just get myself together, bro. Like, know who I am. I ain't even know who I was, bro. You have people around me like, bro, do you know what you, bro, you burning that spot over? You burning the trap over? What the fuck you doing over here? Right. Was like, I was just too addicted. Like, you know what I'm saying? And had so, to shake it. So you had to respect your blessings. Had to, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, you're going to get took from you. And what, and what a lot of motherfuckers from the outside that's looking in, and the niggas that come from the ghetto, what they don't understand is when you grow up in the ghetto, sometimes that's all the fuck you know, man. Exactly. You get some money, it's like, all right, I get some money, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna be bored as shit over here. All my motherfucking homies, all my friends, everybody I know, everybody that I ever dealt with is right here. Yeah, exactly. So it be a little hard to make that transition of getting the fuck out, but then, you know, eventually you gotta realize that either I'm gonna get out or I'm gonna get left. Yep, like right now I still got Everybody that I was on the block with that I came up with, my day ones, they still with me, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my big bro, you know what I'm saying? Dan Joe, he helped me when nobody wasn't helping me, like with the videos, sponsoring me, you know what I'm saying? When, when I would take, I, I had to take constructive criticism at that time, like you ain't gonna be this, you ain't gonna, I had to force it on them. I had to force my, you know what I'm saying? What I'm, what I'm trying to do on them. And they finally got the picture. So that's my advice to anybody doing what I'm doing and trying to get out this situation, you know what I'm saying? Of course it ain't gonna work soon as you do something. You know what I'm saying? That shit like once in a lifetime, this shit happen. You drop something, boom, two, three days or two, three weeks, that shit gone. You know what I'm saying? But my in my situation, I had it a little hard. I had to really hustle. You got to think it was like CDs. I'm writing on CDs at this time, 2016, 2017. I'm writing on CDs, really had to get it, put my feet on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Working, posters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're going in from the ground. I, yeah, exactly. How big is it for you to have somebody that's a big homie in your life who 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 done what you doing in this rap shit, he done it before, to be right there in your ear like, 
Talking about God. Like, yeah, talking about God. He like, yo, what is you doing down here? Like, no, nah, that was a bless. I needed that. You know what I'm saying? That's how I knew it for me. You know what I'm saying? That's how I know God fuck with me. And it was, this, this, this my calling. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. First of all, the, the music portion and the music part of this is easy to me. I wake up, you know what I'm saying? Humbly speaking, like, when I hear a beat I like, I love it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it come off easy. I ain't got to force it. You feel right. me? So I know this. This this my talent. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. But right. I was so stuck in the streets. Like, he like, bro, don't let the streets get you fucked up, bro. You know, you, this shit, your career a layup. Right. This shit can happen. Boom, this right. easy. You got to stay focused. You right. know what I'm saying? So I just opened my eyes, bro. And that shit made sense. Everything made sense. It's all the young niggas. And then another thing, like, me and, me and bro, I, like, when you see situations like this and a lot of people, like, CEO and artists, they fall out and all this shit because they in competition with each other or the right. ego's too big, it's just right. too much going on. You see right. what I'm saying? We ain't in, we having fun. You know what I'm saying? Right. We ain't doing all that, we getting money. Right. I'm learning from bro, and I'm a great listener. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm a, he, he'll tell you that. I'm right. a great listener, you know what I'm saying? Mature, you know? Makes now, sense, bro. Now, now, Ooh, to all the young niggas out there, this is some game for y'all to, when you got OGs around, when you got motherfuckers around that's older than you that you know got your best interests at heart, just don't have them niggas around and don't be soaking no game up, man. Got to always stay a student, bro. It don't right. matter how high you get up, you know what I'm saying? Got to stay a student. Absolutely, because motherfuckers that get to a certain point where you got the money now, you got the millions, you got the cars, you got the house, you got the... And now, motherfucker can't tell them that they become deaf. Exactly. Money make motherfuckers deaf. Now nigga can't tell you nothing. Exactly. But don't have no OGs around and not use them niggas. Sure. So if you know he got your best interest at heart, when he when he spitting that game, soak that shit up. And if that shit makes sense and what he's saying, then put that shit into your plan, man. And that's what it's about. But but I see something like, you know, everybody that been hearing you from rapping since day one, you always said bread game, bread game, bread game, bread game, bread game. game. But now you putting a team together. Sure. Like this shit is real and you know, we, everybody seen what you did with Fats. You went and gripped him up. When did it really hit in where you said, yeah, I'm screaming, Bread Gang. All my fans know about it, but I'm turning this shit into real business. When did that hit in your head and you said, I'm turning this shit really into something? Uh, just when I just got my whole mindset together and what, like, first of all, you got to know, okay, you got this foundation. And then you got the end goal. Like, what you trying to do? Like, how far you trying to go with it? I just, like, when, when I'm done, I want to keep this shit going. I want my shit to keep. I don't want to be like, oh, money bag used to be this, or this used to. Nah, bread gang, this shit still getting talked about. Right. We going back to shit where I got it from. The shit got to get me, I get it them. Right. That's how I got to work, you know what I'm saying? Just, it's a whole cycle of this shit, you feel me? Right. Like, this, this, I, I learned from the best, you know what I'm saying? And shit, shout out to them. It, it's kind of hard right now, because, you know, they coming from where I came from. They coming from the streets, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to listen, but I know, I, I look at them and I be like, Shit, I was in the same predicament. Shit, it was hard for me. I know it's gonna take a minute. Like this nigga right here, he be trying to get back to the house. You know what I'm saying? He be trying to get back to that seat. I just be telling them like, bro, you gotta stay with me. You gotta get glued. You gotta network. They see you with me. They who who the, who in fact they who a dude that be with them all the time. You know what I'm saying? Gotta put it in their face every chance you get. But do you think it'd be like you know when you first get that paper? Mm -hmm. Do you think it'd be like? I'm going back down the way. I got to shoot these niggas. I'm, I'm him. That's what I'm telling you. That was my, yeah, that, that was that my problem. When yeah. I first got that juice in the city, I'm going to hit shit I couldn't hit when I was broke. Yeah, hit you know what I'm saying? I'm running around and see running through the city. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, it's, well, it's, you just got to shake it. Where we come from them in the cities, man, you know, when you come up, niggas don't be happy for you. Yeah. It'd be a small amount of niggas that's happy for you, that's saluting for you. Everybody else do like this, but it's one of them. Yeah. Yeah, everybody don't peep that. Yeah, you that's how that's how most people like most artists that had their shot they fall victim because they ain't look at that. Absolutely, you gotta keep your eyes open and, right. and look at that. Like, who really got my best interest right now? Who right. really there for me? You know right. what I'm saying? I don't need you. I ain't got no yes man around me. Like everybody, like these niggas around me, they telling me like, bro, that ain't it. Don't do that, bro. Right. Don't come out with it. Don't don't go over there. Don't you know right. what I'm saying? Absolutely. They telling me real shit. Absolutely. And, and and a lot of problem a lot of times what the artists gotta understand is man, when you get on, man, y'all niggas be 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. You done gave 22 years of your life to the hood. Exactly. Shit, what's over there? You already get it now. Nah? Yeah, you gave 22 years of your life to the hood, trying to get out, trying to get some money, trying to come up. Now you got some money and you wanna get some more time to the hood? <laughs> like, you supposed to get some time to the mansion now. <laughs>
Atlanta. Too, you know, Cause like niggas crazy. still like sometimes it be it be there too. Like they'll play with you on the internet. Like it's hard. To, like and I get I get that advice too. Like you gotta be able to keep tone of it. You can't worry about what's on the left or to the right of you saying this and that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't lie. Sometimes you motherfucker say the right thing, you might go over there, go left or go right. What you what you trying to do there? You know what I'm saying? Playing with the internet niggas playing because you know who you is. And right. When you get up here, they feel like you ain't reachable no more. So right. let me say this about this nigga. Let right. me do this. Let me do that. Right. Trying to trick you. Right. Can't let them trick you. When Can't did you, when did you catch you. on to that? When, where was you at in your stage in your career where you caught on to the bullshit just probably. to bait? Because motherfuckers don't bait exactly. out there. Exactly. Probably when, the, uh, when I first signed the Interscope. When I first signed the Interscope, like, fell to it three times. When I dropped that tape, like, it was so much shit coming. Like, nigga playing me on Instagram. Insta, oh, he ain't doing this. Oh, he ain't really. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. It should be, well, I'm telling you, bro. Like, it should be playing on a nigga mind and shit. But who, what shit, what you got to prove to them? Yeah. Absolutely. I look at it, bro. I ain't got nothing to prove to y'all, bro. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. Because a motherfucker be in your whole life, your business, your personal life, right. your business life. Uh, you know, motherfuckers want to critique wherever you was. You wasn't in the street. So you got all, you got everybody coming at you basically to try to really grab your attention. Exactly. Or for you to put a light on them. Because when you respond, you got to respond. You got to respond up. You don't respond down. A lot of times the, the the noise be coming from motherfuckers that don't even matter. They ain't got nothing going on. Ain't getting no paper. They ain't, you never see them in the bank. You never see them on the flights you on. You never see them when you're shopping. You don't see these motherfuckers. No, they just behind the joint upset with the decisions that they made that they didn't get them nowhere in life. So you really got to be on point. But we got that album. He got that. Yeah, we got that album, right? Not hard to love. No, Tomorrow. I got, no, I got Tomorrow. Album. Huh? Now I'm, 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 I'm gonna say this. On the jet, on our way here. Bag was playing the album. We ain't send no Sprinter. We ain't send no trucks. No. They came and got us in the jet. They came and got <laughs> us in the jet. Big joint too. I'm yeah. talking about 22 seat puppy. You niggas being low ass. <laughs> you hear me? He can fit the whole motherfucking Sixers the team on this motherfucker. It's a private. A whole team be coming here. And the water boy. <laughs> but he played us the album. Mixtape. 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 Like this. But the bitch sound like an Mixtape. album. Mixtape. But that motherfucker yeah, sound like an album. album. That, that, I think y'all cheating, man. That cheat. motherfucker an album, bro. Mixtape, that motherfucker so hard, bro. Mixtape is a single to the album. <laughs> I like that. Well, mixed, but let me just say I mixed, Damn, a mixtape became it. a single to the album. I never heard no shit like that. A mixtape is a single to the album. I'm still in that. But let me just say this. This mixtape is so hard that... This episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by Dodge. There's a new breed of hornets sweeping the nation. Hornets. They are fast, powerful, and aggressive. It's the all new Dodge Hornet. This is Dodge's first ever high performance crossover. The thing flexes a two liter hurricane, four turbo engine, and packs up to 268 horsepower. <laughs> That's how the hornet sound. The Dodge Hornet is fast, mean, and ready to sting. Mean. Bzz, bzz, bzz. So when you're out and you're looking for cars, why would you look for anything other than a Dodge Hornet? Build yours at Dodge.com. So you can go to Dodge.com and you can build your Dodge Hornet from scratch. Exactly right? how you want it. Exactly how you want it. Just understand, Dodge Hornet is the new wave. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Omega Accountant Solutions. Attention to all small business owners with five to 500 employees. You were a responsible business owner who continued to pay taxes and employ staff during the pandemic. Omega Accountant Solutions is the small business champion, helping you to, in your business get back the money you deserve through the CARES Act. Recover the payroll taxes you overpaid as a refund up to $26,000 per employee even if you got the PPP loan. So that means if you got five employees, 10 employees, 15 employees, you can get $26,000 per employee. Learn if you're a good candidate within 10 minutes of free consultation. So it's only going to take 10 minutes to learn if you could get this money or not. Omega was recently named number one best ERC company for getting your ERC funds by Merchant Maverick, a small business comparison and review site. There's still time to find out if you qualify and file for claim. Again, that's up to 26000 per employee. And Million Dollars Worth of Game and Omega Accounting Solutions are teaming up to provide resources to small businesses in the Philadelphia area. Attend this exclusive event 
and learn more about the Employee Retention Credit Act and how it can help your small business with your team of professionals. A link in the bio. Apply now to attend a me and our small business event at www.mdwogsmallbiz.com. Apply right now. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Barstool Sportsbook. Now, what's the best way to online gamble? Barstool Sportsbook. Who gives you the best parlays with the best odds? And the best bonus money. <laughs> Barstool Sportsbook. I mean, but before I go any further, I just want to let you know this. You must be 21 in order to download Barstool Sportsbook. And if you have a gambling problem, 1-800-GAMBLER. But let me also tell you this. You want to win some money? You gambling? I can't guarantee you're going to win some money, but I can guarantee you this. You can get some good parlays on Barstool Sportsbook. You see you see that I'm always winning. You're watching me like, Gilly, how you always win? How you always win? I mean, because I get some good parlays on Barstool Sportsbook. So, I mean, when you see me racking it up, running it up, my, my Barstool account going... <laughs> Why wouldn't you do the same? Why would you go anywhere else when you could come to Barstool Sportsbook? <laughs> and it's just like that. Right? How he gonna top this shit with the album? He already got it top. He's already top. That's what I said. Like, you got a bunch of songs. I would record, like, I had, within the two years, I had recorded like 50, 60 songs. We got together, we came up, like, how we going? Like, you been gone two years, how the hell we finna? Come back out like we gotta warm this shit. We gotta heat this shit back up for a minute before we just give them the uh. So you think this some shit? Wait till you hear that. No, that's some shit, bro. But, but, I don't. But, but intro, I ain't heard that. I heard this. This is this some shit from the intro. From the intro, it just kept lifting the fuck up. Exactly. I mean, the future pop in, Friday pop in, Dirk pop in. It was like like hot, fat, like, pop, in. fat pop in. Like 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 like. So 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 when my whole thing is toxic. That toxic. D, that was crazy. Cause they love it. The chicks love that shit. They yeah. love that toxic. They fact, love it. It's fact, crazy. Fact. But like, and then you put future in it. Y'all motherfuckers. Y'all vicious. Y'all some vicious motherfuckers. Taunt. They taunt. They out here taunting the chicks, man. I mean, Pluto was taunting in this joint, man. Y'all oh, trolls. Oh, Y'all vicious trolls. You on Pluto? But but like, you want a real live top flight mixtape? This is gonna be top of the. This Can gonna we go be mixtape slash album. This is the mixtape slash. No, the mixtape is shit too single. cold to be a the mixtape. Mixtape you is can't a single get this shit out like that, single, man. Right here, no man, this single. shit cocaine from its purest form, man. I'm talking this shit from Bolivia, no. man. Brick it up. What you ready to do with this mixtape, man? What is ready to do? Is ready, what, what is ready to do number to the one. summer? What is ready to do to the summer? Number one. We just heating the summer up. We just getting started. We just getting ready, man. This the, it's the beginning of the campaign, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This is like. What else you got coming after this joint, though? I got the album. I got the album. The album. I ain't got no name for it yet, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still working on that. And then after that, at the end of the year, you know, I got the Bread Gang compilation of Low Boys. We the largest. That compilation dropping. So, you know. We move and then I got the tour, the tour coming up. You know what I'm saying? Tour started in August. All right, this shit go, bro. So damn, by the end of this year, you gonna be at the, what you gonna be at like 500 a show? God uh, damn, uh, you ain't dropped three projects this uh, year. Lot, man. Three projects. For sure. I know for sure when the tape drop. Two fifty. Give me two fifty. Get that shit I, right. I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I right might now. fuck with you. I might fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm a screen nigga. I still fuck with you. I dropped the price. I drop the price out depends on who it is coming, you know what I'm saying? Right, that 250 ain't going no lower than 175 though. I look at for you. <laughs> no, 225, wow. Look, God, he a cheap motherfucker. He said, no, 225. God damn. I might go 225, you know He gonna take a quart off. You a That's just, I mean, he take a quart off, man. It was the jet fuel anyway. Yeah, yeah. That was just fuel money. It was just fuel it. money for the jet. Take a quart off, God nigga. damn. But I'm gonna keep it all the way real. I'm telling you right now. I know the plan is the mixtape, the album. The compilation. The compilation. Yeah, I mean, look. I'm telling you right now, after this shit drop, the it. plan's gonna change. They're gonna be too booked, man. Swear to God. They're gonna be too booked, man. My niggas just told me that. After time. this shit here drop, plans change. 
You niggas is in trouble. Y'all niggas better be come with some good shit. You sure you shot the visuals for This nigga me? got butter to make the like, fiend uh, stutter. Good, good. Give me another. I'm in the visual. I got, I mean, I got 10, 11 video right now. We st and we still working. You know what I'm saying? We still working because it's the whole plan. I'm just trying to press, you know, apply pressure, bro. Back, do you feel like this your best work? Every week, no, I don't be trying to feel like that, bro. But I know I just be trying to outdo myself every time because I, I, you I think you might have outdone like, yourself, you want, man. You don't want to hear, bro. This ain't a, this ain't better than the gangster pain. The gangster pain went yeah. number one two weeks in a row. Like, dog, I think this one is I, I, me personally. You got some some bodies of work that's unbelievable. Them first fucking nine songs in a row you played. And that's a that's the niggas that's in a, trouble, man. That's a good part. Of, that's no, the, no, but niggas in trouble, but, man. But you know what I like? I like that you was you was tapped you was tapped into the soul. You're talking about real life shit that's going on in every right neighborhood. Now. That's going on with everybody that's starting to get a little buzz. I don't care if you're selling hair. I don't care if you got a clothing line. I don't care if you're rapping. I don't care if you're selling cars. Everybody from our environment is going through the shit that you're talking about from the hate, from the gossip, from the chicks, you know, just burning you out all day. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know what I mean? You try to yeah. tell her, put your feelings in the uh, go yard bag, baby. Chill. Like all the shit you talking about. You like about, that lie, huh? Yeah, you know I'm go yard. Because like he got it. that go yard luggage. So he, <laughs> he got a bunch of go yard shit. You know so I mean? the, go ahead, throw your shit be, in the bag, baby. Your shit on Stop fucking bitch. playing games. You know what I mean? But no, but what I'm saying is that you're talking about real life time shit. You, you're not, a lot of artists sometimes become disconnected from the culture, from the ground. At the end of the day, I don't give a fuck how much money you get, what you got going on. I'm seeing people in real time fall the fuck off and disconnected from the culture and they just rapping, they got money and motherfuckers like, oh, you don't even matter no more. I'm seeing big time artists come out and ain't nobody paying no attention because they disconnected and their content matter. They, they and, and, you know, the, the stuff that they talking about is not connecting with the ground. We understand that the, the root hold the tree up. The streets, I don't give a fuck how, if you ain't got the streets, you done. If you ain't, I don't give a fuck how much money you got, how many chains you got on, how many private jets you get on. If you ain't got the streets, if you ain't popping that shit, don't nobody yeah. give a fuck. Yeah, you can go, you can go perform at spring break, but we still know you ain't cool. Is that <laughs> once, 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 once the bottom say you done, you done. You might cross over to the next level, but still, it, once, once you ain't popping, they be like, hold up, they, they're not popping down there no more. Oh no, they don't, we don't want them no more. And that's the reality of it. Because you're talking shit that the people at the ground could you could gotta, feel. You gotta keep people around yeah. you like they're still in tone. You okay, you around. up here, you up here, but these folks still be in the hood every day. Yeah. They still, I'm still, my ear still to the streets. You bring your motherfuckers like, up. Come on, come on. still here. to the streets. Yeah. And look at and, and, and think about this from this standpoint. Look at Gotti. Gotti was here, and he wasn't got y'all, so he could still be connected. His ears yeah. could still so, be to the streets. You know what I'm saying? Just some because he can't, you know, he can't be because after a while you get so much money. You can't be if you don't keep the connectivity, you gonna be you gonna be the nigga. You ain't gonna know niggas will be coming around you saying slang. You confused like a motherfucker. Because I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's been a point. Of, it's it's been a point of time like when I had to shake this shit. Like I had to shake this shit. I almost felt found myself disconnected from this shit. Like just going through a lot of shit too. It's like um like bro don't tell me like. Or you know, the hood fucked up, the prices, the prices on drink is this now, this prices on weed is this like, now. What? But I'm thinking, like, I'm looking at the shit like it. I had to humble myself, you know what I'm saying? I had to humble myself and understood, like un understand my fault, understand what these what these folks dealing with. Right. You feel me? So I didn't know all the niggas. I was like, damn, for real, this shit like that. Like, the man. pandemic money gone. Exactly. The you hunger is so, different. <sighs> called on the Trump. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> DJT. <laughs> DJT. <laughs> Donald. No, but I'm just saying you you gotta stay in tune. Call Donald Trump. Cause, Cause it's real. Donald had niggas with that butt in his pocket. They was running around. They tore that Christian Dior Louis store the fuck up. We was tearing it up. We was yo, you know, you know what's crazy though? Like I was one of the motherfuckers that was like, yeah! You know why I was happy? I was happy to because our people never, a lot of our people never got a chance. So I'm happy for I ain't, I ain't never hating no more. I don't give a fuck what you do, how you do it, that's your business. Motherfuckers was happy as shit. The, the crime was down. Niggas wasn't tripping in the hood no more. Niggas wasn't getting shot every day. Motherfuckers wasn't hating that much. They was just out there, yeah. Go to Miami, it was on. It was it was a different, you know. It was, you know what I mean? So it was like people was happy, you know what I mean? Now it's like it's a dark cloud over the community in the hood. So you got to get that, you know. That's I why. I swear to God, some of you pulling me, if you, you know you in a, this shit the trench. You know this shit the trench. Dark cloud. No shit matter down the rain and every day down there, motherfucker. Yeah, but, but like, when, when I'm listening to the album, it kept going up. How did you, like, did you, like, 
what the production like? Who who who, who the, the fuck was on the beat? Who was man? directing that shit? Who was directing right. traffic? That, that shit basically like shit like in house. A lot of in house. Them niggas damn. I just really did my research on like who who these niggas fucking with right now. What's going on right now? You got to You know what I'm saying? You still gotta stay. Like I told you, you gotta stay a student. Do your research. Your homework. Hey. I still do homework, bro. That motherfucking production is on. That production, they kept going up. The, the 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 production just kept going up and going up. And I ain't hear no. And once I ain't, I ain't, I was lost because I ain't hear nobody tags on it or nothing. So I'm like, who these niggas? You know, I don't play this shit. I ain't gonna lie. Shit, I'm paying for the beat anyway. Like, put that shit. We're gonna figure strategic way to put this shit. If if we put the tags in there, we're gonna figure out a way. But I ain't. You ain't finna hear that on my shit like that. All these tags and different. Shout out to the producer. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure you, make sure you get your shine on. You know what I'm saying? How we can do it. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, shot you out. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, but I just I take this shit serious. I take my my music like my baby. Like you know what I'm saying? I take this shit serious. But one one thing I always hear you rapping about, no matter what you rap about it, and I just witnessed something in real time since I was here. It's not a song that you got out that you're not talking about your kids. My kids, my kids, my kids. Like you're a real involved father. Like you really tapped in. Like you like your baby girl just called. You like you you just. Congratulations, baby, on honor roll, whatever she got. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, you like, I got something for you. It's coming, baby yeah, girl. Show that on the camera. Shout out to Raya. Yeah. Shout out to Raya and the. And like, the you money. gave her props. AJ got an honor roll trophy. Check them out. You gave her props. This shit she in like, real life, man. Like you, this ain't no cap. You really always speak about that. With all your life, everything you got going on, how do you keep a healthy relationship with your kids? Uh, I mean, it just, it's, it's a big part about just finding a balance. You got to know, like, if you got any little free time, like even if I'm working, you know, I just put the studio in house too. So even if I'm working and I'm trying to get shit done like this, that means something to my fans. And but you know, I got to do this shit to feed my kids. Also, I'm bringing, I'm pulling them in. We're gonna do this. But then when I get a little free time, come on, take my girls on daughter dates. You know what I'm saying? Little dinner dates, have dinner, dinner. Yeah. four. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Take them on little dates What's and let ages? them know this how they supposed to be treated. What's the age? Uh, goddamn, 14, 11, 10. And five, I got a birthday like next week, spring birthday like next week. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like, then my boys, you know what I'm saying? I take them, you know, we're a little rougher with them, you know what I'm saying? Baseball, sports, all this. So, you know, it's, that's what matter, bro. I ain't had no, no no daddy like that. You know what I'm saying? I had one, but I ain't had one. If you know what I'm saying, you feel? So I, mean, I just feel like I owe it to them. Yeah, and, and, and ladies, this month is Father's Day. June is Father's Day, so make sure, make sure, <laughs> no, no, see, you might be different. The average dude go get a tie and some cologne. Yeah. And that's what they do. They go get a go get a treat the motherfucker bad. They got they got they got a they got 15 different days. They got Valentine's Day, their birthday. They got all these fucking days. Mothers, you come through, they're gonna be getting a bunch. Listen, Keisha, TT, Kiki. Do don't, be get, right. don't be getting nobody no goddamn no, no ties and no cologne. Socks from Marshall you buying dudes you buying dudes ties that don't even wear fucking suits. Right. All the dumb shit. Don't do that right. shit. Treat a motherfucker right. You know what I mean? And sorry, but y'all can't get cuz nothing. He got a cap gun. What you mean? I a bunch of these little niggas, my kids out here, man. They moms gonna come through. They moms be come to, hey baby, I got you something. Let them bitches bring you a platter, man. Yeah, that's that's cool. Me a little extra seafood salad, you know what I mean? I'm cool with that, you know what I mean? They got a cap gun. Get the fuck out of here. You got no cap, man. You know I mean, you playing games, nigga. Shoot the whole club up, nigga. Nigga had no kids, man. Nigga, nigga shooting everything wrong. Ain't got nothing pregnant since he been old. He's lying. He's lying. <laughs> nothing, everything wrong. <laughs> Screaming. It. I put bags on, man. Wear them bags, fats. Don't come, you know what I mean? Because listen, they, I, I'm, I'm going to hit you up. Fats are grimy Memphis, nigga. I mean, he ain't wearing no bags. Like, he pushed them joints off the, off the, what's this? Uh, you know, <laughs> ooh, baby, I like it raw. You heard, you heard what money, you heard what bag sit on the album, I can't feel it, so I went raw. <laughs> I couldn't feel it, so I went raw. He did tell on himself. He said, I can't feel it, so I went raw. But no, not because you know fast, you know how that shit go. All it takes, chick from Houston. Yeah, that's my baby. Fi they go right on the gram. Everything on the fucking gram. That's why you got to watch yourself. Everything going to fucking gram and they want to put people. Now you're in the shade room and they writing a story about your fucking life. You never even met these Fats people. Fats had three kids by next year, man. He, yeah, yeah, he, got he going on tour with me. He going on tour with Buddy Bag. Yo, he going to be. Ah, yeah, I, got a, I got a baby in Dubuque, Iowa. <laughs> yeah, the album going down. Yeah, it's, it's a wrap. His album going to be going down. I know he probably working on his album mixtape right now, too, but I like the mixtape thing. I like the mixtape as the single to the album. That's a new. God, you, you said that. The mixtape. Is the single to the album? You heard it here first, man. Gave it. That's my first time. He ain't tell me that to know. 
Yeah. That's my first time hearing it. You never heard that shit. Shotty always got some rich nigga talk. The mixtape is a single to the album. <laughs> That's rich exec- song. That's some new executive shit up top. Practice or rehearsal this shit, nothing. He don't do none of this shit. Right. Shit comes straight off the top. He got a podcast, Rich Talk. Rich Talk. You got it. Count money game, CMG. <laughs> That's just crazy, man. These niggas getting money, man. Well, listen, man, the album tomorrow. Tomorrow's oh, the exactly. mixtape. Yeah. I, I keep saying album because that motherfucker's so single, hard. The single to the album is out tomorrow, the mixtape. Hard to love. Cause he said, man, he hard to love. He been through stuff, losing people. Dude, now would your woman shit. say the same nope, thing? Ups and downs. Most definitely. She gonna tell you the same thing. She gonna say this nigga toxic, she man. She gonna say this nigga she moody as a motherfucker, huh? You know what I mean? Fucked up nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this motherfucker, this, this motherfucker, what'd he say, right? He trying to get it right. <laughs> right <laughs> nigga said, fucked up nigga, try to get it right. <laughs> she like, boy, all you do is lie. That's what he said on the song. Listen, but I had to write my drawings down. Baby, put your feelings in the go yard. Yeah. They talk about me because they, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. They talk about you because you got a name. Soon as you get some money, they say you change. You know what I'm saying? No, a lot of stuck in my head in front, right from the gate. They say I left my baby mama for Instagram, chick. I was like, damn. <laughs> Who said that? They said it. They had to say it online. He said talking about that shit. They say, man. They he, say. he a messy nigga, too. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga vicious. <laughs> that nigga vicious. Him and Future, they some messy. Yeah, they crazy. They put him in the blender. Because I'm going to keep it on Future. Fuck the game up when he said, tell Steve Harvey I don't want the bitch. He fucked the game up. Yeah, he vicious. <laughs> Future vicious. You threw Steve in there? Pluto vicious. I serve the base. Yeah. But uh, mixtape out tomorrow. Mixtape mode, hard to love. Hard to Point. love. But like, this, you know, what made you, when you seen... Fats, what made you say, damn, man, what's up with him? That nigga voice, that nigga just talking. Like, that nigga, like, you know, you know, like, some people, like, you hear, you be like, okay, they just another nigga. Like, right now, you know, they run, they trying to run out with the poo shice, the flow, the poo shice, the style. This nigga, this young nigga, same age bracket, you know what I'm saying? Like, coming with a whole nother. I ain't never heard this shit. As soon as I heard this shit, my big brother, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Joe, he played this shit for him. I'm like, what the, who the fuck is that? Where he at? I'm ready to go to West Memphis and everything. I'm gonna pick this nigga up. You ready to go back down the way? Yeah, I'm ready to go back down the way. But shit, he kind of flew on to Miami. Shit, the rest was history. Made it happen. That's the video. Then we did the video you saw, signed him, broke that bag out for him, gave him four, five chains. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what we're doing. Now, Fats, how did it feel? How did it feel? Come on, keep it real, nigga. Right now, how did it feel? Shit felt like like God came. I felt like God came. Say it, nigga. But I really, it was some more shit going on. Plenty of shit. It was in smoke, heavy smoke. Some heavy shit going on. Really, like, I really started from the front. Like, man, I was on the road, you know, on the road and shit. But I ended up uh, really just settling down, like, see what I really want to do. Because I was on the road, you know, a couple folks and shit. But then I was finna sign with somebody else and shit. But in the midst of me finna sign with somebody else, they were they were like really like hitting me and shit like bro come on. But I was just trying to keep it so loyal to these folk. My house caught on fire, like my house caught on fire. So I lost my house. In the midst of that, I got a pound of weed I'm selling to go to the yo. Like if I ain't selling this weed, I can't go to the studio. I'm in the studio like nine at night straight. Ah, uh, like nine at night, so but is the weed bullshit weed or some good weed? It was some bullshit. <laughs> Don't lie, nigga. It was it. I never had that mid. Never you had that mid. Weed, he fucking Memphis up with the mid. Mid in Memphis. Memphis mid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had to have some good weed though, so they'll come back. And this in order for me to keep going to the studio, I gotta have some good weed. Yeah. So lost my house, lost on the dice, lost a pound of weed. I'm maintaining. Oh man. No more studio time. You she fucked up. Ugly. And boom. I'm at the studio, my last night at the studio. I'm like, my last night, I really ran out of everything. Nigga killed my auntie. Man, rest in peace, though. Killed my auntie, so I'm really on the bullshit then. I go back home, they call me to the hospital. I see, I'm like, I tell, I had to confirm. I'm like, yeah, that's her, boom. Now I'm really on some bullshit. So the next day, I get on some real bullshit. So I'm on the way to go on. I'm talking about me, my young niggas, we all, we ready. Bro, them, bro, them, Joe, Joe text, like, Bad one that's in Miami tonight. But I'm on the way to do some bullshit. We got guns in the car, all type of shit. I'm like, what the fuck? So I look at the phone. I'm like, man, Joe, man. I'm still on the way though. Joe called me. We gotta get up out of here.
Now I live in Miami. I've been living in Miami since October. Now my young nigga, who house I was living in before I signed, he just got killed last week. Whew. It's a video shoot with me and Rock 49. Don't. I so had him on the every day. Every day. He let me live with him. I took him with me. When I made like, took him with me. So he got killed last week. How you deal with all this death, fat? You young. How you deal with all this and still process, still still keep going, getting up every day? I don't smoke, nothing. I don't, I don't do no drugs. Get, he'll get drunk. Get drunk. One fucker turn, turn, turn that ball up. Turn the ball up. <laughs> I, my cousin killed my cousin. My homeboy shot my homeboy. My homeboy killed my homeboy. My homeboy killed my cousin. I got like 11 dead folks. I, I used to be with every day. So now how do you feel that success come? Do it feel empty? Because a lot of people are not here to celebrate with you. Really don't feel him because I got a lot of little cousins. I be prom shit, prom shit for my little little young nigga. They just had prom, buying little suits. I'm really feeling good though, but I'm just knowing it's supposed to be some more people with me and shit. Mm -hmm. But I just, I just, I just cope with it by making moves and laughing and shit. Only so long that shit can play out. So I just, I just find something to do. Yeah, you just, you, 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 you. you. You basically got your life saved from that phone call, that one text. Cause you was ready to go get busy. Oh, for yeah. sure. Get back a motherfucker. Get back a motherfucker. Uh, I ain't, uh, that shit ain't me, all right. You never, did you ever see yourself here? No, hell no, no, hell. I ain't paying attention one hour away from my grandma house, bro. That's, that shit, that shit. Everybody going to the help from where I'm at. Yeah. Everybody. You got to stop by the help before you go somewhere in life. Go, but I looked at me, I went, I ain't had to stop by. No. Yeah. So how do you feel about going, you know, you know, because a lot of artists they come, you young. Like right now, you still, you're still a rookie, you're still coming in the game, you're still young. You know, uh, I'm gonna just say this, you gotta just be real careful about going down the way. Cause I know it's a lot of love still there, and you still wanna be able to show everybody that, like, damn, I'm winning. So you just, you know, just be mindful, but but man, this boy, that call changed your life. Yeah, the call changed my life, boom. I got the call. I go to Miami, pump like 12 songs for the next day. Give me 30,000. Oh, day. next, next, 40, oh, next day. Oh, you pump 12 songs out the next day. No, uh, the next day, I, when I came to Miami, I, when I came to Miami, I made shot off gumbo ASAP. Yeah. yeah. That was like one. I heard them talking about the weed. They feel like, I was going to come out this way. I'm like, I'm just listening. Like, somebody talking right here. I'm just listening. I'm like, okay. I, I go to the booth. Make the whole weed strand for our brother song. I'm like, bro. He's like, damn. <laughs> like, like, damn, he I just got to turn up. Oh, he like, I got to get on here. He flew me to LA. I made the get back jump. Flew me here. I made. The, oh, so, so no matter what, up. you stay in that motherfucking studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, drunk. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, doing about four, five songs. I'm doing like four, five songs. Every yeah. session, like. Every session. I'm doing two sessions a night sometimes. And I ain't got shit going. Like, what's crazy about it, you really go get it. Because last night, when I'm talking to Bag, he called you. He's like, man, I got a show in Alabama tomorrow. He said, get here. You got here. You got all the way to New York to make this shit happen this time. So you really got a show in Alabama you got a, And you got you was in Miami last night, so you yeah. be back. So it's like, how do it feel, man? You you, you in the game now. Yeah, I be, I be trying to stay home because I, 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 I done seen some niggas like, I, I done hung around some niggas who, who really had some shit going, bro. And now I ain't feel the penitentiary. Like, that's why I always got it. Every time I think about be literally, be literally the next person. I think about this situation, like, I can't do that because I'll be right here tomorrow, like right here. So that's why I just keep my head, folks. Real yeah, he's real, he's, he's mature. <laughs> this nigga mature, man. Uh, and he got, man, you, you, that, 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 you know, when you go through some shit, they mature you fast, man. Yeah, mature you quick. Yeah. I stay till I feel like he got like an old soul. Yeah. Like 21, like. You got any like kids? Like an old soul. I just take care of my little cousins and shit. I'm gonna just tell you this, man. Stay focused, man. Yeah. yeah. Sure. A lot of times we be our worst enemy, man. Like our bag was just saying, nigga, play with you. I go left. That was bag being his worst enemy sometimes. Yeah, Paying attention to niggas that it could be a 16 year old boy in Atlanta talking shit. You feel what I'm like saying? Like he was sending me some one time, like, you know, he got real smoke in the city, like, same shit. Like, we, the whole city, like in the tour with the whole city in the, in the city, like this, this big. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The city this big, 
He in tune with the whole city, so he's sending me Facebook videos, screenshot niggas talking about, fat this ain't fat, fat your nigga, y'all niggas dying and da da Man, I don't let the fuck that shit, bro. Like, no, yeah, don't ain't on there, bro. Especially now, because now nigga love to trick you out of position. Nigga love to trick you out of them six chains you got the fuck on to a motherfucking jumpsuit. Motherfucking shit, motherfucking federal motherfucking prison outfit, man. A nightmare. Motherfucking, nah, man. So don't let no niggas trick you out of position, man. You focus, you here for a reason. You got to believe that, though. You don't believe that, then it ain't going to make sense. You got to believe that I'm here for a motherfucking reason, man. Exactly. And then it all makes sense. Put the hard work in, all makes sense. Then you, then you go and you live for all the niggas that died, man. And you gotta, and you gotta just keep your ego in check, cause your ego gonna tell you some real live shit when you by yourself. When you, man, I ain't no bitch ass nigga. These niggas think I'm a bitch. No, as you think you a bitch. Niggas already know who you is and what it ain't. But it's like when you when you speaking when you speaking from a perspective, and you gotta be mindful for them. Yeah, I know, I know, it's niggas out there that might y'all might not be seeing out of eye and all them. But you gotta look surpass that. You gotta look at all them kids in Memphis and everybody else that's listening to your music and watching you and hoping like, damn, I, I could make it out of Memphis too. Fat make it out, you see what I'm saying? So, you know, and I know it's always gonna be that shit, but the main thing is, like J.R. Smith said, keep the main thing, the main thing. The main thing is the music, taking care of the people you love, and that's it. You can't please everybody. People gonna say the shit they gonna say. Do not bite that shit. Don't bite that hook, that bait, the worm, that motherfucker pull you, you sitting up in the joint, you mad or a nigga finesse you out, you lost your life. So it's like, you know, uh, they, got, they, they, got, they got to do what they got to do, but you better do what you got to do. And that's, stay your ass in Miami. Atlanta, wherever you're doing, going to them studios, making them songs. Because you know, one thing you got to understand is the more songs, the more money. The more songs, the more visuals. Make sure you got your cameraman. I don't care what he doing, just like what God he doing, fuck what they doing. You got to establish your team, your cameraman that shoot your videos, your people that do your day to day. You got to establish that. So now when you step to him, you already got your shit. You already got your videos. You already got your your, your your whole package, your marketing. You got your motherfucking, your, your, your merch, your website. That's what niggas supposed to be doing because they going to do the big shit. They got too much big shit to worry about. Them, got, them niggas ain't got time to be babysitting. Establish your own team, people that you can help get paper with you. And then now when you step to them, here go my project, here go my videos, here go the website, here go my merch. And they like, oh, what? Oh, let me, throw this, let me throw gasoline on this shit. Woo! You see what I'm saying? Be a businessman. You know what I'm saying? Because... God, he put him on business. He put himself on business. Now you on business. So you got to figure that shit out. How the train be looking around this motherfucker is whatever fucking, winning. you get him with CMG, motherfucking, it's over. you win it. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know nobody they put out that failed yet. I'm still looking for that nigga. <laughs> you, I mean, feel, you feel what I'm saying? So don't be the first. <laughs> You know what don't fuck, don't fuck the train up. That's the count money game. Yeah. Nigga, stay count money. Uh -huh. <laughs> stay. Uh, he know he counted it down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He so you, <laughs> gang yeah. it the bring it anything around money. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, there's a bunch of paper around. So when the paper come, focus on the paper, man. You ain't got time for no nut shit. Because, hey, listen, let me tell you something. Ain't nothing like getting some money, man. Ain't nothing like it, man. And guess what? In the history of life, you never see no motherfuckers with the drama get no money. Nigga, it, 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 muscle, it, it, muscle never get money. You never see no drama get money. Smart to get money. You know what I mean? Move, being able to move. So just focus, stay on it, and, and get around this motherfucker. Lean on it. Now, now, it now, now, how is it being on this shit, Fats? You're amongst the elite. I'm trying to feel it. I ain't said it yet. I don't yeah, you feel it yet, huh? I'm trying to stay humble, bro, so I can last long. Yeah. I feel like you just should pop it. Fuck all that. Like, yeah, like gonna, fuck. we can do it. I say humble to a certain extent, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But when you're 21, you gotta pop it. And fuck don't all and don't never let nobody finesse you, because I'm gonna give you some game. A motherfucker tell you, stay humble, stay humble. You know what stay humble mean? Don't remind me that I ain't doing shit. Don't pop it, because when you pop it, I feel some type of way because I ain't doing nothing with my life and I was bullshit. So I'm telling you, yeah, man, you got to stay humble. That's some hating shit. Some mother, you got to watch how people saying it in a vocal tone. I swear to God. That's, that's some that's hating shit, bro. That. That's a good way to put it. That's some hating shit. Man, you better stay humble. What the fuck you mean? I ain't supposed to celebrate all my work. You put the work in, bro. When you decided to jump on that motherfucking jet, that was a major decision. A work you put in when you said, I ain't going, I'm going to let this motherfucking opportunity, uh, you know, I ain't going to let this opportunity supersede or my ego supersede this opportunity. And you stepped off. 
Why, you ain't supposed to celebrate? You ain't supposed to go buy shit that you dreamed about buying when you was fucked up? You just was living with your little nigga. You can't go buy, treat yourself to this and do this and a third. You know what I mean? Put all that humble shit in the go-yard, man. Like you told the chick, put your feelings in the go-yard. Put that humble shit in the go-yard, man. Fuck is you talking about? You better pop. Gil had to tell me that shit. I'm chilling. I'm riding around. And Motherfucker got two minivans. His nigga I'm bank account. This nigga bank account, M and M Duff, he riding around in 20, 2009 minivans. Man, fuck is you doing, man? You fucking the brand up now. <coughs> listen, I'm looking. wrong with you, nigga? You ain't, got, you been out of jail all the time. You fucking the brand up. I got flashbacks. I got flashbacks, nephew, of when I was in the motherfucking, in the prison cell looking at a robbery report, looking at Maybachs and shit. I woke up one day, I said, man, let me go get me a Maybach. No, no, I need a one brand new off the assembly line. Let me go get this 63. Let me get this. Let me get, yeah, I need the platinum prezzies. I need that shit. I need this. I'm treating my motherfucking self. Cause I'm only gonna do this. You only do life once, Neff. Right. Fuck that. Motherfucker, put it in their face. And you gotta treat, you gotta think. Most his gifts came on Valentine's Day in prison. You gotta treat yourself. Get the fuck out of here trying to slide yeah, that bullshit. Oh, Ain't nobody give me no Valentine's Day <laughs> gift in no fucking prison, you fucking nut. Fuck out of here, you nut ass nigga. Slide that shit in on me. Ain't nobody passed me no more. I had to make facts laugh. He ain't laugh today. I mean, fuck out of here. But Bernard, Bernard, look at this shit. This motherfucker was writing raps, sleeping on the floor. With the big girl, one of the big girls in the car with a white rap. She was a big girl. He told me she was. She was a big girl. You wrong, you gotta keep it real. He was, he had the big girl, he all up in the joint writing raps in the motherfucking joint, like, man, I gotta make it. Look at where he at now. This nigga keep putting it in their face. Make real pallets, like, before Federal took over, I took over the trash, they took over the seat. I used to make real pallets in the Mill Creek, like, three, four covers, not no air mattress or none of that shit. You talking about three, four covers, two, three pillows. And, just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he invented the, 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 the hood mattress. Shit, exactly. He was a floor warrior. He was a floor warrior. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Nigga sleeping on floors now. He, now he running around putting on their face on jets, putting other people on and changing their life from the heart. How you feel, man? Tell 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 us and tell Bag how you feel about the, the life changing situation. How you feel in real life, man? I feel good. Like, like they let me know, like, they really love me. Like, and when someone I know, someone really love me, like, I'm just ready to die by it. Like, it's just me, like, I'm just, man, whatever come with it, bro, I'm with you, I'm with you. Like, I'm and they be doing the same thing, Trill be doing, like, nigga, him, Trill, all them niggas, them niggas text me, DM me three, four times a day, just appreciate it, bro, thank you, know, appreciate it, bro, you ain't have to, you know what I'm saying? Shit just made a nigga feel right. Man, and listen, man, I've been to Memphis, man. When I was in Memphis, man, God, he had his damn, we down that motherfucker, I'm riding around that joint, I said, oh, my. You can smell a gun smoke in the air, man. I man, this shit, shit was different. It was different down there. So to be so to go from there to Miami? Oh, you down there acting up, man. Make yeah, sure. Like Memphis, like Memphis, like, see Memphis bigger than West Memphis. Like, when you cross the bridge, you in West Memphis. Like South Memphis and North Memphis, that's the whole West Memphis. Like West Memphis is all the So Yeah. Everybody around there beefing, like this. Everybody going to chill every day, every day, every day. Two, three shootouts a day, trying to look. Two, three, four, five shootouts a day. Two, three, four, oh, yeah. five shootouts a day. Oh, yeah, you, you definitely got it. Yeah, you, you cool with you because now you're in Miami, but make sure you wrap it up, man, because by, by this time next year, you had six baby mamas, man. <laughs> Fucking around, around, around this nigga. <laughs> well, nigga, had, no nigga had six baby mamas. This uh, <laughs> nigga Marissa got time today. That nigga, he got time today. One in Charlotte, one in motherfucking Atlanta, <laughs> one in Miami, one in Philly, one in Baltimore. Yeah, he gonna have them bitches, he gonna have them chicks everywhere. He gonna be going crazy, but no, just live your life, man. But listen, man, it's just good, good seeing you, man. We gonna we gonna tap into you, man. But uh, mixtape out tomorrow. Mixtape hard, hard to love, the biggest shit on the street. If this shit don't go number one, I promise y'all, I jump in the Delaware River ass naked. If this you shit do that, oh, that don't this, count. If you this do shit don't go number one, nigga. I jump off the Ben Franklin Bridge in the Delaware River ass nigga. This music is nigga shit. Nigga, this next level shit. Crazy. Next level shit. I already know this going number one. Hey, appreciate it. I already know. This shit, and he got big glow on there too. <laughs> <laughs> got motherfucking glow on that motherfucker too. Future on that motherfucker. Dirk on that motherfucker. Fats on that motherfucker. How that feel with all them niggas? How that feel with your name getting thrown out there with all them niggas? You just was on your way to down some niggas. Huh? <laughs> that nigga like, he got future on there, fats on there. How that feel, nigga? 
All right, get your money, let them For niggas real. live. Kill them niggas with success, all right? Listen, man, money bag, yo. Live from the motherfucking jet. This ain't no little jet, nigga. This how we picking up. This how we pull up and pick y'all up. Pull up and pick us up, man. They picked us up in the jizzy, what man. Doing, yeah. bro. This is how we travel. It's the end that we treat this shit like Ubers, man. Do this shit. Damn, a jet is the jet is the new shit, Uber. Like, new Uber. Jet is a rich nigga Uber. Uh, damn, we get a whole lot of game from there. A yeah. fucking mixtape is the is the, is the yeah. single to the album. A jet yeah, is a rich nigga's that, Uber. Uh, I gotta give y'all some of that gumbo merch. Make yeah, sure y'all yeah, get that yes, gumbo sir. merch. Yeah, it's the best shit smoking yeah, right now. Best shit smoking. Shout out to Luca. Shout out to Luca. Shout out to Luca. Luca, you see what's going on, man? He making a habit. I see y'all got y'all changed. I see y'all get that shit. We got the pillows. We got the pillows at the crib. You feel me? Shout out to Luca. Shout out to Luca. Let's see this shit. Put this shit in the camera, like. Feel me? Got them. Got them. Got them blocks of ice in them joints. Them glaciers of ice. Glaciers. Big gumbo. Listen, man. This is what we're going to tell you. If you don't know nothing, what's going on? What's going on right here on the jet? CMG, Counting Money Gang. I re I remix the name. Yeah, I'm a trademark like that. It, uh, Listen, I'm trademarking. Trade me and Gotti get in court. We'll fight about the name later on. But but Counting Money Gang, that's a new label. I mean, I'm trademarking that ASAP. Right? Gotti, like, nigga, you can't afford the lawyers. Yeah, I already right, know. He got like 15 lawyers. Just to, fuck wrong he got lawyers behind fighting. lawyers. This no shit reason. be over in a week. All that type of stuff. <laughs> shit. So, so, so what's going on, though, is. I fuck around over him money. The fucking found, with you, man. The foundation is CMG, uh, Bread Gang Loaf Boys. Uh, y'all doing y'all thing. It's going up. The mixtape Hard to Love is out tomorrow within some hours. The shit is coming out. Go out there, get yours. I already got mine. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I got, got my shit early. already. Got early. Uh, you know, got don't, don't, don't be hating on me. But listen, man, stay tapped in this year. Mixtape, album, compilation, tour is going down. Money Bag Yo, Fat, Gotti. Memphis, CMG is up, and we on a jet. Billion dollars worth of game. Billion dollars. And it's just like that, right?